Uh, hello YouTube and fellow Radio Hams. It's been quite a while since I've uh, posted a video, so uh, I thought I'd uh, better pull my finger out and done a quick video here. Um, I received some uh, walkie-talkies today. I bought off eBay about £22 for two of these little FM uh, radios. I was intrigued to know what they're like, and for that sort of money, um, you know, uh, it was worth the gamble. Um, they're 16-channel UHF FM radios the um, part number is rt22 they're sold under a few different uh, brand names now uh, this is the retivis i hope i've pronounced that right it appears to be an absolute or the case styling anyway seems to be a uh, copy of the high tier a pd365 which is a d digital dmi radio but the uh, certainly the size uh, and the shape of the case is uh, very very similar uh, the price isn't. <laughs> um, uh, you get uh, the usual earpiece uh, which plugs in the side here. There's a, a USB um, a mini USB uh, charging lead. Unfortunately you can't program it with this lead, it's just charging only. Uh, the radio does support a drop-in charger but it doesn't come with it, it's an optional extra. You can see the little contacts on the bottom here. Uh, so you can only charge uh, via this uh, socket on the back here. I've just popped the back off of this one. It comes unclips very easily just with your fingernail and you've got a uh, battery here. It says uh, 3.7 volts, 1000 milliamp hour. It's, uh, the, the Chinese manufacturers normally have a habit of overrating the capacity of the batteries normally um, uh, by quite some amount but this probably is about right I suspect um, just ju judging by the weight and the size um, you also get this uh, cradle uh, which fits on the back uh, or the radio slips into the cradle I'm trying to do this one handed uh, and snaps on and then that gives you a belt clip uh, if you uh, really need it uh, um, uh, it's very similar to the uh, um, ubiquitous triple eight um probably you know the same um radio chip and microcontroller the um the in one interesting thing about these is the voice is uh is a is, a, is an english sounding man uh, coming through let me just turn it on if i can hour on nine so uh, that's the sounds quite pleasant um anyway to cut a long story short um they you know for for the money you can't really beat them uh and certainly perfect for kids or anybody just wanting some cheap uh, fairly uh, fairly robust uh, walkie talkies um crikey i can imagine uh, when i remember when i was a kid <laughs> with the little walkie talkies were rubbish uh, these are uh, much much better anyway um the audio is okay on them it does sound a little bit tinny on receive the transmit audio is good and clear uh, plenty loads of volume on it um so uh, anyway if you were thinking of buying these um let me just show you this radio this is a, this is a baofeng triple eight s max um these these are my favorite low cost radios uh these are about 10 11 pounds each about the same price sma connector on the top this one has high and low power um, so on the low power setting you get about 400 milliwatts out and about 1.8 watts on high power really nice soft ptt button very easy to push so if you're rag chewing on it and this is quite hard this ptt button and it's actually slightly tiring so for the around 10 pounds fm walkie talkie um, this one is best. Incidentally, this radio is much better than the old style triple eights. Uh, the the casing is much smaller, and you don't seem to get so much acoustic um, effect from the hollowness of the case. Where you did on the triple eights, they, they the audio coming out of them sounded hollow. These are really really good uh, and uh, really nice to listen to uh, just on standby. So uh, there you go. A quick look at the RT22 and a comparison with the AAA audio. Very, very similar. A little bit tinnier on this one. Um, PTT button's a bit harder to push. Uh, batteries probably, um, this one says it's 1800 milliamp hours and it certainly is a lot heavier, so possibly better. And uh, I think um, 
the audio uh, is, is just, just got the edge on these and of course with the low power setting as well you get much uh, much better. I, I can't measure this because uh, the aerial's fixed without taking it apart and soldering a tail on and sticking it on the service monitor but I guess it's probably around the same. Um, so there you go, hope you enjoyed this video, thanks.